Pisces, Virgo, Empress, Virgo, Tarot, back again with another reading. This time it's a general reading for my Earth Sign Collective, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, Summer Rising, and Venus Placements for May of 2023. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there, and I appreciate all you guys' love and support for me and for the channel. It is much appreciated. Speaking of support, um, quick infomercial, I have a project out of my book, Life is Not Dress Rehearsal. It was about my time in the classroom as a teacher and an empath and how I dealt with students and other adults. Um, in those particular settings, it's a page-turning, mind-boggling read. Very interesting read. I promise you guys, you won't be disappointed if you decide to purchase a copy. It's available on all platforms, wherever books are sold. You can order it, order it um, from Barnes & Noble, Amazon, Books A Million. I have a link listed below in the description box if you guys want to purchase a copy for yourself or someone else you were not disappointed you will not be disappointed excuse me and thank you in advance for your support okay so let's get into the reading so as i split the deck for my earth sign collectives we have the six of cups and judgment okay so a judgment call is being made on something hmm. okay so, Divine Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for my Earth Sign Collective, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for May of 2023? As always, guys, with any tarot reading, take what resonates with you, leave the rest for someone else. If it doesn't apply, let it fly, okay? But if it does apply, consider liking the video, sharing the video, and subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell. I really appreciate you guys' support, okay? All right, let's see here. All right, so we have the King of Swords, the Devil, the Queen of Cups, the Death card, the Five of Wands, the Page of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Magician. Wow. Sorrow, heartache drama it's like you're getting over whatever has left you feeling like hmm what the heck is this and how do i get out of it for some of y'all it's a relationship for others of y'all it's a karmic cycle but for for a lot of y'all it is a relationship i'm not gonna lie um it was a karmic relationship and i, I feel like you whether you be divine masculine or divine feminine you are on the side of the queen of cups okay Whoever you were dealing with, they were the king of swords, regardless of their gender, okay? I feel like they took you through the ringer, and you were trying to figure out, what is this? How can I get out of it? How can I? At first, you were trying to figure out, I'm not going to lie, how to help this person um, and how to heal this person. When I feel like you should, a lot of y'all, I think y'all realize it now that you had to help and heal yourself first and you can only help someone who wants to help him or herself okay and i feel like you realize that this could have this person they could have been cold as ice they could have been a scorpio or had that uh placement somewhere it doesn't matter but what i uh i'm feeling for you guys is that you're you're trying to move forward because when you were dealing with this person they had you in all types of turmoil and conflict and chaos um for some of y'all, y'all were dealing with someone uh, who people were coming and telling you stuff about them, and you kind of sort of try to look the other way about it. If you look at the page ones here, it, he's like very haughty and I don't want to say stuck up, but nose up in the air like they don't want to hear that. I feel like you didn't want to hear what someone was trying to tell you about a particular person, or you didn't want to see what they were showing you about themselves and yourself, okay? I feel like as you come out of this energy, Earth Sign Collectives, you're going to gain clarity about the particular situation, who you were dealing with, what you were dealing with. Take it how it resonates for you. This karmic, like I said, it could be a romantic relationship. For some of y'all, it could be you dealing with a friend or a sibling. Take it how it resonates for you. It's not all about love. It's a general reading, whatever I pick up on. Because you, you can't have relatives that are karmic, y'all. Teach you some rough lessons about life and love okay and i feel like you're you're getting to the point where okay now you know what you deserve okay 
from anybody and you're not willing to put up with toxicity within your life okay i feel like that's what the ace of cups is all about for you guys earth sign collective uh also too as you're man as you're learning self-love you're going to be manifesting what it, whatever you need into your life whatever it is that you want or desire you're manifesting a very abundant new beginnings for yourself and i feel like it's up to you on whether or not you're going to how should i say engage with certain people or bring certain people into your lives take it how it resonates but for a lot of y'all, y'all actually been working on a skill that's going to pan out for you. I don't know where the hell they came from, but it did come out, okay? So let's see here. Spirit, let me show for it first. Divine Holy Spirit, what additional message or messages do you have for the Earth Sign Collective, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and that's too many, <laughs> and Venus Placements for May of 2023? That's two yep y'all gotta change the narrative that's what i think uh spirit is saying you're not a victim okay regardless of what happened to you it happened for you i know that's hard for a lot of people to tell you rejection is god's protection whatever you're grieving remember i told you three of swords on the bottom it might be the loss of a relationship it might be having to cut ties with people who although society says you're supposed to pour into these people they're toxic you're letting go of their grief you're letting go of the things that have hurt you for so long uh you're letting go of that victim mindset and mentality you're taking whatever it is you learn and you're you're spinning gold out of cotton you're making the best out of things you're being a true magician okay if you need to cut ties with something or someone that has caused you grief rejection or made you felt made you feel like a victim then so be it cut ties with him her it whatever so you, that you can live the best life that you can live and manifest the things into your life that are of value to you but a lot of you guys are coming out of a cycle of grief and sorrow and rejection and what was me victimhood type stuff and you're going to thrive in the near future okay guys wow okay you getting that new beginning for some of y'all y'all are, are literally in a in a number one year meaning you're rebuilding your life over with after tower moments or multiple tower moments and you're focusing on your mental health your um emotional health and what it is you need to do for you to move yourself forward okay if anybody don't like it screw them all right so that's all i have for my earth sign collectives taurus virgo and capricorn sun moon sun moon rising and venus placements i hope you guys enjoyed your reading for may of 2023 if you did give the video a thumbs up share subscribe join our tribe hit the notification bell and i will see you beautiful people in the next video bye guys